Hello everyone! Today we're unboxing the Vitus E-Line electric propulsion engine and some of its related accessories. So let's see what's inside of the box. This is the E-Line engine, which is shipped attached to a pallet with the swap and go mounting brackets. The mounting brackets are easily adjustable in height and at an angle of zero or eight degrees. This makes remotorization and connection to your existing propeller shaft easy. Please note that they're currently in a transport position, so you will have to turn them half a turn for a proper installation. Always use the supplied flexible motor supports. These have been specially developed for electric propulsion engines. Can remove the top cover of the E-line to complete the electrical installation. Under the hood you can find the PCB with LED indicator lights that normally shine through the cover. You can also see the internal fuse mounted on the patented motor controller. The motor controller makes use of the unique boosted battery charge function. Using this function a 24 volt charger can be used to charge up the required 48 volt battery pack. Vitus can provide maintenance-free batteries of the type AGM or absorbed glass mass, as well as lithium ferrol phosphate battery packs that are excellently suited for our electric propulsion drives. This is the MPE-1KB, a key switch panel for your electric propulsion engine, an all-in-one solution, VCAN power supply, external 12 volt power supply and anti-theft device. The E-Line and E-Pod can be controlled with the ELPS VCAN control lever. This control lever has three propulsion control modes. Normal, which is the default mode, Eco and also a power mode. By pressing the Eco mode, the maximum output power of the E-Drive is limited, so your batteries will last longer. Switching off the Eco mode, the E-Drive is in normal mode. You can now press the power button to unleash the electric peak power kick for those fast maneuvers. Finally, you can use the MPE-1 MB VCAN monitoring panel to check the status of your Vitus E-Drive by reviewing its control and warning lights. At a glance, you can read out the following. Propulsion active, power mode, temperature, limiting power alarm, battery level indication, high current draw, low voltage and charging active. As always, please read the manual whenever you're installing any of our products. For more information about these and other products, head on over to our website www.vitus.com. Thanks for watching!